Yeah, welcome to the Voice of the Street uh, VTS podcast. This is VTS podcast with Mike Wombati. Kasper, welcome. Thank you, thank you, Mike. Yeah, it's nice, nice to be here. Welcome, pleasure. Mm. Yes. Uh, now we have seen many things happening, and uh, mostly the political uh, intolerance, and this be, and this is most among the youths. We've seen them stoning here and there. The in political rallies and causing some mayhem. Uh, what do you have to say about this, being the liberal youth president? Yeah, Mike, thank you very much. And that is a very good question. You see, during this uh, electioneering period and the campaigning, you are having some bravados, the politicians are crisscrossing across the country to carry on their manifestos. One thing that we must say it out clear in black and white Mike is that political intolerance has no space in this century. Yeah. You see, we we these are not these things are retrogressive, okay? And it's very sad that youths are being used as culprits to carry out these nefarious acts by the politicians. It's very sad indeed, Mike, and we must condemn it whichever the side the the violence is meted into. What happened yesterday was actually very bad and it should never happen again. It's not the way, it's very uncivilized, it's ungodly, and it's retrogressive. It must be condemned to the strongest terms possible. Yes, Mike. Yeah, so uh, to the, like the youths mm. are being organized yes. in different <clears throat> political rallies yes. by different uh, political leaders mm. to come and cause mayhem in different ways. So uh, as we go along, uh, what can youths do to avoid this, these scenarios? Yes, you see, Mike, uh, as much as politicians are the one musketeering and planning the, the whole thing of causing violence that has been said, or uh, the investigations will go on with it, the youths play a very critical role here. You see, the, the politicians are here, they, they, they are trying to carry their nefarious act, so they are trying to balganize youths into tribal cocoons so that they can carry on their nefarious acts of zooming some areas to be their own okay but this is against the democracy this is against the constitution these are the against the rights of freedom the rights of association the freedom of every candidate to crisscross the country and sell their manifestos you see yes. it's very sad that the youth are being mobilized to do such acts but you see when you look at this also we don't also blame the politician entirely you see also the the, the youths themselves they are being allowed themselves being used by the politicians you see, what we forget as youths is that these politicians, they, they are only doing what we call, they are only there for what is convenience for them, for the day, okay? They are not enemies. Literally, politicians are not enemies of each other. These people tomorrow, they will shake hands, they call each other friends. They will call each other dinner here in Serena, Kempiski, okay? You have seen these people, and history has proved them so. All of them have ever either worked together or they have been in camps abusing each other, but later on they have come to work together. Now what happens here, the problem is that the youth happen to be the collateral damage. And you see we are the majority, and now the harm comes to us. So as much as, yes, let's say the, the politician is bribing a youth to go and fight, why don't you just refuse it? Okay, okay, let's say you, okay, you, you don't have money, okay? So you are being given money, but you see the politician doesn't come with a gun on your head to say, okay, now throw the stones to this car, okay? You just take the money and stay home, okay? If you don't agree with somebody's agenda, just listen to it, okay? There's no, we, 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 we have advanced. We need to move away from such ancient characters. Yes, yes. It's the 21st century where people don't have to use violence in everything. People have to settle things diplomatically. If you, you don't agree with what I have to say, just listen, then don't do it. For example, here we have, what we're talking about, it's ele an election, okay? It's a competitive election. When you have an anger towards a politician, kindly as a youth, you can only express it rightly at the ballot. That is the right place to take your anger. What that person out and vote that person you want in. That is the only right thing you can do. Not throwing stones. Throwing stones don't help at all, Mike. Yes. Yeah, now that uh, we are nearing the elections, yes. uh, uh, do you think that it may cause a bigger harm uh, during the elections, like uh, what happened well, in 2007? Yes, it, it's 
it started actually signaling, sending some signals. And you have seen even after the, the yesterday instance, you have seen people trying to compare like, okay, you see this is what happened in E10. You see, and then they also try to compare with what happened in, in Kondele, okay? You see people are trying to compare two wrongs, okay? Mike, two wrongs do not make a right, okay? Yes. Violence is just violence, and it is a wrong. It's a criminal offense. Those culprits must be prosecuted, okay? And now we are heading to an election. It's sending a very bad signal. Now it means that our politicians need to go back there, talk to the youths, and also the youths need to be very clear on this one. You see, we, we, we are fighting the wrong war, okay? You see, in the end, after the August election, life will have to go on, okay? And the politicians are very funny characters. Yeah. These guys will even do a handshake. I promise you, we'll come back here and we'll talk about these guys. There will be only one winner in the end, okay? In the end of these elections, there will be only one winner, okay? And the winner who will take on the presidency will be the president of all of us, all Kenyans. Those who voted for him and those who did not vote for him. Now, what happens if you are perceiving a region as a zone for a certain person and this as a, a zone for another person? What happens if this person gets into power? Then it, you will hang out. This is whereby you hear that parts in the opposition are being left behind in development, okay? This is which leads to an equal distribution of resources. And you see who suffers the most? It's with the youths. Politicians don't suffer. Politici all the politicians, the, the, the top politicians, have their homes here in Karen. Not only here in Karen, but they also have residential homes in Mombasa, okay? Where they go for holidays. But we, with the youths, we don't have that luxury. So we suffer the most and we should condone it and act in a civilized manner such that the elections will come and go, but we will still be here. We still have dreams to achieve. We still have to pursue our dreams here. Okay? We're still young. There's, there's a generation that will come after us. Well, let's look at what things that we'll be building. Okay? Yes. Let's focus on agenda, agenda-based politics. Let's move away from the ancient politics of violence, Mike. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, the environment, the political environment, uh, mm. as per now, mm. uh, what's your view about the political environment? Uh, as we are nearing election. It's not that bad, yeah. but, but you see this, such instances act, act like they, 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 they are likely to spike all some fire, okay? Yes. Such that you will see like, you see the, the, the people from the other region where the leader comes from, they also be saying like, okay, this is what they done to our leader. Let's wait for theirs to come here. That is wrong. That is wrong. Mike have said two wrongs don't make a right, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, whichever happened, that is wrong and those people acted wrong. There are law institutions, there are channels to be followed, rightful channels to be followed on how to solve disputes, on how to deal with criminal justice. We have a very clear law. And you, Mike, before we even go there, you see yesterday, yesterday the, the Supreme Court of Kenya did a very major ruling, okay? Now, here you see how politicians have actually matured. You see, the politicians have matured we have moved at least a step and our democracy has matured where people are respecting decisions from independent institutions. You see the big brothers, the handshake brothers, have accepted the Supreme Court ruling, okay? And it's peaceful. Out here people are just shaking hands as normal, like nothing has happened. How I wish that come the election, the August election, that is after 9th of, of August, when the IEBC will also announce the election chaired by the Wafula Chibukati, people will also Shape. accept the results. Okay? Yeah. Okay? And if there will be any dispute arising from that, they should take the proper channels that is going to the courts, okay? And waiting for the courts to give the verdict. The lawyers to do their work. They present their evidence, okay? Yes. Their complaints. Then respect whatever the courts will find out. Okay, then we have to continue living, you see. Things have to go on. We have other things to struggle about. We don't have to keep on fighting about politicians. Okay, yes. you see the economy is bad, okay? The economy is bad, but then we are also making it more worse. You see, the political intolerance chases away investors. It's a very bad thing, okay? It's a very bad thing. It chases away investors, and this will impact directly to our economy. And it has been proven so that during the electioneering period, Prices tend to go higher in Kenya. 
specifically because people don't want to do trades here okay people are closing businesses there are businesses people who are doing businesses in other areas okay but because we are bringing this violence in people tend to close their businesses and move back there we are not supposed to go back there we have matured our democracy has advanced let's no, not go back there mike let's not go back to the ancient dark days Yes, we are moving ahead. And for every youth who is out there, let's remember that the politicians are not fighting about ideas. They are not literally fighting about economic models. Okay? Yes. These guys are also fighting for material benefits. Okay? And in the end, we should not be used as collateral damage. With them, they will shake hands here in Nairobi and settle their things. Yes, the big boys. The big boys will always settle their things out there, but the small fish there will be the ones waswahili wao wanasema fahali wakipigana ni nani waumia. Yes. Nyasi, sisi ndo nyasi, Mike. Yeah. Okay. So on your conclusion uh, about this as we are uh, mm. nearing the elections. Mm. Yeah, your conclusion, general conclusion on the political environment. Yes, on the political line. Okay, like we as the Liberal Youth Movement, we, we have actually set out a, a peace program. Yes. Okay, we want to articulate for peace. Okay, yes. now we, we are being understanding that you see, having youths without a patriotic education on politics, youths tend to be future criminals. Okay, they tend to be to, to run into being potential people of causing violence. Okay. But now we have to ensure that we have to provide awareness, okay? Like this election is not a do or die, okay? There's even life after an election. There's a longer years after election. So we don't have to fight each other. And we, yes, we have diverse political opinions. We should also train ourselves to respect personal opinions, okay? When we disagree in politics, we should still be able to shake our hands. We are differing on ideology, okay? It's not something tangible that can make us fight over each other. Let's disagree in a civilized manner, okay? If it's about if it's about the election, then let's express our anchor and our decisions at the ballot come August. If you see you think that such politician is good for you, go and vote for them. But also for the youth, let's not. We have seen what these politicians are doing. Let's also not elect people who cause chaos. For us to solve these things, we have seen what they are saying out there. Okay, these guys say the other thing and then do the other thing. But we have been able to see them. Let's gauge them on a rational scale, then make our decision wisely. Let's not turn our nation back there. We have come a long way. We have come a very long way, Mike. We have, the, the, the democracies has advanced. Let's not go back there. It's very sad. Yes. So uh, how are you channeling uh, that peace uh, movement? Yes, the peace awareness, we are spreading peace whereby people will have to be very tolerant coming to political decisions, yeah. okay? Yeah. Whereby we have to respect individual and personal decisions, okay? Where we disagree to agree, yes, yeah. we respect your decision and whereby we don't have to, you don't have to be involved into criminal acts, okay, or vandalizing for politicians. If you don't like a, such a political politician, just listen to their ideas or don't even go there from the first place. Nobody forces anybody to attend a political rally, Mike. Yes. Okay, the politician just come, okay? If you don't agree with them, go on. There's a lot of things for you to do, okay? There's a lot of things for you to do. You must be very idle for you to go to throw stones at a political rally. It is very sad. Do something constructive, yeah? Take a book, read a book. If you are there, wala was machinani, chukua jembe, enda shamba lima. Don't waste that energy on throwing at a, at a billionaire, okay? Yes, you don't fight for these guys. These guys have medical covers abroad. Yes, they have medical covers abroad. They have lawyers who will protect them. They will be able to fund the, the, the justice system. They will be able to cut across. But for you, when you'll be arrested, you'll stay there in the jail. Nobody will come for you. Nobody will even want to associate with you. So kindly, let's avoid the violence. Let's encounter this politics, the campaigning period with a high morale, with a rationale, and approach it accordingly. Yes, Mike. Yeah, thank you so much, Kaspar. Yes. And, uh, 
Nice to have you. <laughs> it's a pleasure, Mike. It's always a pleasure, Manze. Pleasure. Yes, yes, yes. And wherever you are, I'll kindly tell the youth that it's not necessarily for us to fight, okay? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, what are we fighting for? True. Yes, yes. What These things will come for? and go, but we will still here. This is our country and we have to build it. Yeah. Yes, we have problems here and there, but you see these problems cannot be be solved through fights, through throwing stones. Those are ancient things. Those are the, the, the means used by early man. We, we, are, we are upright. We are rational beings. Uh -huh. We have moved forward. This is the 21st century. There's some things that we must not repeat, Mike. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, VTS Podcast, remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share. You can also uh, drop your comment up and uh, or your overview about this. and. Uh, we shall talk about it. Thank you. Yes, you can also look at the Liberal Youth Movement. We have our social media pages. You can also look at our progress. And if you want to join us, you can simply email us at liberalyouthske at gmail.com. But also remember to like this video. For, and we also thank you, Voice of the Street, for your support you are giving us to make sure that this message reaches out there to the youth. You see, it's very important, okay? You see, when people lack political education out there, this is where they, they, they remain the dark days, okay? Whereby they think if you hate somebody, you have to throw a stone to them, okay? We are moving away from those days. And I think this is a platform that you will help the youth to get this information to them. And it's very important. So, Mike, we also appreciate your support for this. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is VGS Podcast with Mike Wombati. Mike Wombati.